that has been associated on several occasions with funding terrorism. That is Kasim Shatima. Kasim Shatima, we should not forget uh, uh, Kabiru, Kabiru Sokoto. Kabiru Sokoto was one of the, the, the most wanted terrorists and he was found and arrested in his house. Let us understand and let us not forget this terrorism, this banditry, this carnage is not ha just happening by mistake. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. A multi just as the former president of Nigeria, General Sani Abacha said, that any insecurity that existed more than 24 hours has the government's undertone. This issue of insecurity in Nigeria is worrisome. It has beginning to get well many Nigerian and concerned citizens worried. Not because it's happening for the first time, but it has persisted, getting to a decade and five years of constant killing terrorizing the country. And only thing some persons like now say Aero 5 former Kaduna State Governor could say that these people are foreigners who came into the country to terrorize the country and also go like that without police arrest, without immigration check, without passport, without identity. But it will be very hard for even international international communities and we ourselves to believe that people came from outside Nigeria without knowing anybody, without being sponsored by anybody and just come into the country and kill people. Now, the present vice president of Nigeria, Kashin Shetima, was accused of sponsoring Boko Haram and harboring them in his Abuja residence. The police and the Department of State Security Service arrested the wanted Boko Haram um, people in his house. And not only that, people were incident about this. They brought it to the national television on the Arise News. This woman categorically indicted Kashin Shetima. Listen to her. Especially as it concerns security, you must have an enabling environment in order to do anything. So you cannot take someone that is virtually senile and another person that has been associated on several occasions with funding terrorism. That is Kasim Shatima. Kashin Shatima, we should not forget uh, uh, Kabiru, Kabiru Sokoto. Kabiru Sokoto was one of the, the, the most wanted terrorists and he was found and arrested in his house. Let us understand and let us not forget this terrorism, this banditry, this carnage is not ha just happening by mistake. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. A multi-billion indust dollar industry because it, 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 it takes a lot, a lot of money on defense budget. It has a lot to do with the sale of drugs. It has a lot to do with mining and illegal bunkering and illegal and illicit uh, 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 mining and look at the areas that are that are generally affected by this take the northeast for instance in the northeast you have the blue diamond that is a strategic mineral you have uh, uh, oil at the Chad basin that is being explored right now but illegally you have zamfara if you go to zamfara zamfara has more gold than than, than ghana Zamfara's gold is being traded in Dubai and other parts of the country. There is a market called Nigerian gold in Dubai. Go and check. So who is doing this mining? Most times they are the governors, the people in power. They are the ones doing it in connivance, in connivance with foreign, foreign, foreign mercenaries. You can, can you remember? Have we forgotten when they said there is a no a no fly zone in Zamfara? Why should there be a no fly zone? There isn't even an airport in Zamfara. But aircrafts land and they, they take off from Zamfara. And let me tell you something else. In Zamfara, every container that comes from China ends up in Zamfara. You know why? Because in Zamfara, every the soil in Zamfara has all the strategic minerals that you can think of. So when the containers come in from China, they land in, 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 in they end in Zamfara, and a bag of Zamfara soil is today sold at five thousand. So they need to displace the people to allow them 
to continue with their mining. I, I, I mean, it's multifaceted. You can, and these are people that one has been severally accused of harboring terrorists, even recently. And why? Let us ask, why should Shatima be visiting along with his governor, be visiting and making a solidarity with a police officer that was, uh, that was being tried for drug trafficking? Why? So you begin to put these things together and, and, and you begin to understand why Nigerians must retrieve their country. We can't allow this thing to happen. Now, from the revelation made by this um, honorable woman, I could get something that I have never been thinking about before. You see, I have beginning to disagree with what Erofai said about the sources of all this attack. This woman made a revelation that someone has sent me a video like this before, but I did not pay attention to it. They told me that because of illegal mining of minerals in the northeast, northwest, north central, that any place they discover there is mineral, they will sponsor insecurity there. Because up to now, in the chat basin, Nigeria had oil there, and Nigeria's oil is being explored illegally. And some group of people are eating and taking the money, using it to sponsor terrorism and their own personal agenda. And another thing is this. Oil in the south is for the whole Nigerians, while in the north is for few people who are sponsoring terrorism. The gold in Nasarawa state, Castina, is more than the gold in Ghana. But people are mining it, not federal government. People are mining it in the Ghana. Um, this man, uh, Femi Fandana, on the national television before, on Chinese television, said that every year about 9 billion dollars worth of gold is being exported in the Ghana out of Nigeria. So, I believe and I'm beginning to concur that these people are sponsoring this terrorism because of this illegal mining of minerals. I am not the one saying it. This was said on the national television. And you could see that people that are associated, people that are being accused are people in the top government. And that will make what Abacha said to become true. That any terrorism that happened more than 24 hours has government on that too. So many people from Sokoto State have been accused, not only Kashin Shetima, there is one time Sheriff, they call him Sheriff, he's a one time PDP chairman in the North um, East, I mean Northwest, he was accused of sponsoring Boko Haram. So we know all these people, we know the sources of our problem. So the military should not pretend as if they don't know what is going on. The DSA should not pretend as if they don't know what is going on. The police should not pretend as if they don't know what is going on. First and foremost, the people that have been accused, what have you done to them? The people have been accused that are sponsoring terrorism, what have you done to them? You can't leave these people parapondating, um, contesting for election, winning election, and you are telling us that you are looking for these terrorists. The terrorists, the people sponsoring the terrorism, according to the governor of Nigeria State, they are not the major problem. The major problem are the people who are there sponsoring them. It's like when you are mobilizing people to go and campaign or to go and protest. The person mobilizing them is the person that is supposed to be arrested. Not people going to keep... Somebody bought them gun. All those Fundani that are terrorizing cannot afford a gun. They cannot afford AK-47. They cannot afford nothing. Someone is there exploring our gold, exploring our oil, sponsoring terrorism to make sure they will, Nigeria will remove attention from what is going on. See, Nigerians have to wake up. Nigerians have to wake up because all these things will be found us. And when you are talking about all these things, you will see some youth. They will come out to tell you, forget about it. You don't know what you are talking. You are talking about this and how Tinubu to breed and how APC to breed. I say, come on. These people are just talking against their future. They are holding their future in ransom. Travel to many places in the world. You would understand what a nation is and what it means to be um a citizen of a country that has oil, that has gold. People that came from Dubai, they are not fortunate more than we Nigerians. But what is wrong with us and our country? This is something that we must continue to talk about. We are not going to shy away from this, that we know who are sponsoring this terrorism. We know who are sponsoring them because they have been indicted. Police arrested terrorists in their house. And on the national television, we were made known 
So if they want to fight anybody that is saying that this man is sponsoring terrorism, they should go and fight that woman that came to Arise News to tell us. So we were told and we believe because we have the reality that this that this woman said is true. So what else do military police DSS want from um, the intelligence gathering? Anyway, I think um, people have not put pressure on government and people are keeping quiet too much. And that is why I'm dragging so many um, labor organizations, labor union, um, Catholic organization, um, Christian Association of Nigeria, sorry, that is CAN, and so many other um, organizations that are supposed to always speak for people when people are being massacred. This is my greatest worry about what is going on in Nigeria, that people who are needing you are the ones sponsoring the terror. Please subscribe to this channel, share this video, and above all, come for daily updates. Thanks for listening.